LNG TV, the official media channel partner for Gas Tech 2021. Well, I'm delighted to be joined here at Gastech by His Excellency Al Mazrui, UAE Minister of Energy and Infrastructure. Um, so just how important is it that we've got Gastech taking place this year in the UAE? We're so happy and excited to, uh, to host Gastech for the first time here in the UAE. As you can see, uh, the, uh, the signs of success are there. We're seeing uh, so many ministers coming uh, for the first time as actual instead of... Uh, just video, video, video conferencing, and uh, I think this is the beginning of the uh, of the new transition toward the normal life. Hopefully, in the near future, uh, the uh, also from the industrial side and from the companies side, uh, the, uh, the there has been a great number of companies participating at the event. Uh, very interesting uh, panel discussions uh, alongside the uh, the exhibition here. Uh, technology of, of, uh, of LNG uh, need to, to be evolving to, uh, to meet the demand. There's a huge demand on gas and that reflected on, on the uh, hikes of the, uh, of the prices that we have seen this year. So uh, we, are, uh, we are excited to, uh, to have everyone having a discussion and hopefully reaching some conclusions that will ease the uh, supply and demand balance. What do you make of the, the situation at the moment? Well, I think I think it's 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 a result of lack of investments that happened due to uh, low oil prices of uh, of gas, especially LNG, uh, and uh, now we're seeing that the lack of investment is hitting us. So hopefully, uh, we we will see more projects coming on stream, and not only LNG but also as pipelines. And we are seeing some uh, some of the projects happening in Europe, feeding Europe or feeding China and uh, elsewhere as well. Uh, we would love to have some projects also in the region, connecting the region. We have an example of, uh, of, of a very successful project called Dolphin, linking Qatar, UAE and Oman. And, uh, and I think more of these projects should happen in the future. And in terms of uh, creating a, a low carbon future, what's the UAE and, and particularly ADNOC, what are, you, what are you doing to help create that, um, that future for everyone? Well, we are working on different fronts. One, in the extraction cost or ex extraction uh, side, we are trying to produce the cleanest barrel of oil worldwide and we are competing on different benchmarks to reduce the, uh, the carbon footprint in the production process itself. Second, we are capturing CO2 uh, and injecting it instead of the natural gas, freeing the natural gas. And that uh, we have a, currently a project uh, that, is on, that is commercially done, capturing 800,000 ton. We're planning to, uh, to do more projects, reaching 5 million ton of CO2 capture and utilization, uh, CCUS. We are also working on, uh, on uh, preventing any venting of, of, of gas in our oil operations. And that's a process that we've been, been working for years and years, like His Excellency Dr. Sultan mentioned in his, uh, in his remarks. Uh, we are also working on the demand side management. So not only from, from the process itself of the gas and what ADNUC is doing, we are also trying to reduce the amount of gas by adopting the best technologies of uh, gas turbines to reduce the consumption per kilowatt of hour of, of uh, per uh, kilowatt of uh, of electricity that we produce and we are working on a long term plan on the demand side management to reduce the per capita use by 40% by the year 2050 so that has several elements. One is the codes of building and educating people to use less. Lovely. Thank you very much and enjoy your time here. Thank you.